yeah. It's war time. It's war time. Gather the troops, yeah. It's war time. The Most High is gonna have mercy on you, Black Respect Native Americans. If you return back to Him. It's war time. We are gods on this earth. We are God chosen people. The Black, yeah. It's war time. You are now tuned in to Wartime Radio Show. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Hey, welcome to Wartime Radio. This is Officer Yuwana Thun. And on my left, Officer Nehemiah. On my right, Officer Aton. And our rain dancer today, <laughs> Officer Yana. Hey, this is the hottest radio show on WPJM 800, Wartime Radio. That's right. Hey, it's today we're going to the rain man. <laughs> All praises. We got the last Gadite in the building. We need that, get, that gas sound bite. <laughs> hey, let's get Romans 15 and 4. Right. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. We might have hope. And I love that scripture because you know why? Those who put their faith in comfort in the scriptures, we have our hope in Christ. And you, those that don't, who don't believe in reading, you know, Negroes, yeah, I don't know what to say, but it's <laughs> two thirds. Hey, that's <laughs> it is what it is, man. Somebody got to be. Hey, we say it in a funny manner, but it's some serious stuff. Yeah, you know, serious our people stuff. don't read. That's why a pastor can say what they want to say. That's why the world can say what they want to say. Give you, give you a but perception of something, and that's it. And you know what's what's funny is um, you can hear your parents talk about. Uh, how many miles they had to walk to school through the rain and the snow and yeah, to learn how to read to learn how to read and do math and then once they finish you can't get the Negro to open up a Bible and read <laughs> the most important book on earth that actually gives them their history Dang. so what you're saying is our people go learn how to read to assimilate Yeah, it, it, that's what you're saying we Dang. learn how to read to assimilate, right. not not for knowledge. And there's a scripture that says that. Get that. Oh shoot. Oh uh -oh. shoot. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a scripture that tells you to read. I want I want the scripture to say it. I don't want to say it. Revelations chapter one verse three. Blessed is he that readeth. They walked all the miles to learn at school, right? But you tell them something in the Bible. Oh, I, what book is that? That's that the book of whatever. But they walked all the miles to do that for Esau. But you tell them the, who they are according to the Bible. They don't. They don't. They ain't read that. Mm -mm. Say they so smart. They dumb. That's how they become <laughs> smart. Dumb Negroes. Read it again. Revelation chapter one verse three. Blessed is he that readeth. Not leave your book. On the shelf and collect dust, but no, actually it, it, it open tell up. Tell you when you read down which book is talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> read on, read on. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. For what? For the time is at hand. Hey, guess what? Today we're going to cover some of the news or the things that are at hand right now. And like you said, read and read the book of the prophecy and do the things therein. So the only place you're going to read about the prophecies and the commandments of the Lord is the Bible. Right. So it ain't talking about going to read, you know, during <laughs> novel, <laughs> got during Harry Potter and stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go read that stuff. It's telling you to read the Bible. Blessed is he that reads the Bible. And this is the part I like. Let me say, they that hear the words of the prophecy and keep those things that are written therein. So let's see some of the things that's written therein that we, as men of the Lord, do. Give me Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Because this is our job. 
This is why it's called Wartime Radio. Because we got ready for the battle. Read. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. That's what we are. Wartime Radio, we are the watchmen of God. And we're going to do what God commands. Read. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth uh -huh. and give them warning from me. Do what? Give them warning from me. So we're going to give you warning. We're going to let you know exactly what the Bible say, whether you hear or whether you forbear. Hey, go to Matthew 24, verse 3. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And the end of the world. So the apostles, they wanted to know what's going on. Please tell us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, hey, Christ obliged that giving them, you know, some hints on what's going to go on in the end of days. Read. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceives See, you. See, right there, that's a key. That he's letting you know there's going to be deception going on in the world. Yep, that's it. He, he said, take heed that no man deceive you. And believe me, when you don't like to read, when you don't like to acquire knowledge and wisdom, you are a perfect example of somebody that's going to be deceived. Read. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. They saying what? I am Christ. And knocking on your door, saying, hello, like, would you like to hear about Christ? Would you like to hear about Jesus? Would you like to come to my church on Sunday? <laughs> That's what they're doing. They coming. So people, so people <laughs> listening to that person knocking on the door with the comic, with the comedian, with the comic book, uh -huh. talking about some, this is, you know what I'm saying? They try to give you the Bible in their depiction. Look, they talking about this, this is, <laughs> hey, if you ever had the ones come at your door talking about this is Elder Bob and you look out there and Bob is like 15 years old? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> like, who? Elder Bob. My name is Elder Bob. <laughs> With the comic book right. in the hand. And this, look, and this is, this is, this is Elder James and James is 16. <laughs> Be like, well, y'all don't, don't get up in front of my door. <laughs> they look, oh, man. Yeah, he ain't got damn. no hair on his face or nothing. Unbelievable. <laughs> Hey, read that again. With a white shirt on, a tie. <laughs> Riding a bike. Riding a bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Yo, it's so true, we can't make this up. <laughs> hey, read it again. Oh, boy. Matthew chapter 24, verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ uh -huh. and shall deceive many. They're going to deceive many by like telling you how much they love you. Yeah. They, how much they love you and how much Jesus loves everybody, including the people that killed all his children and enslaved his people. They don't even, <laughs> they don't even mention that thing to you. Right. Yeah, exactly. Look, and them, be the, and them be the same ones sitting up there, look, looking at you like they finna kill you. Right. You're going to go to their church. That's going to be where you get hung at right there. Hey, read the next verse. Verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So we're going to hear of wars and rumors of wars. And, you know, for the last, what, 20 years, war has been waging all across the globe. And good old USA. Read. See that ye be not troubled. Uh -huh. For all these things must come to pass. So, hey. Don't worry. All these things must come true. And as we read, the Bible's a true book. These things are happening right in front of your face, even if you believe it or not. And why it's happening, our people are getting turned up, ready to watch uh, the our, Dallas Cowboys. Look, and our people is at homecoming, like, football games, walking around half naked in the cold. If you up, if you in, like, you know, you in, you know, middle of the United States, like, in South Carolina, it's cold right now. Or, or you in there now. If you're in Florida, it ain't as cold. But them mothers out there naked too, turning up, acting up, going to football games like ain't nothing happening nowhere. Right. Bruh. <laughs> hey, continue reading. See that be, ye be not troubled. Uh-huh. 
For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. I'm going to tell you right now, the black man in trouble because they care less. They clueless what's going on <laughs> on the earth. Read. For nations shall rise against nations. So we got nations rising against nations. You got the Edomite nations, which is the so-called Europeans. They over there battling right now against the Arabs, which are the children of Ishmael. In the meantime, Moab, which is the Chinese, they're teaming up with the other Edomites. And World War practice, III is at the practice, brink. They practice and sending bombs around the globe. Right. Woo! And kingdom against kingdom. I had kingdom against kingdom. Read. And there shall be famines. That's what we got going on all throughout the earth right now. Famines. Read. And pestilences. And what? And pestilences. And guess what? That's going on right here in America. You know. Oh. That's a pestilence. If you ain't woke up yet. And a lot of y'all are preparing for your enemy to save your life. Look in the famine happen. <laughs> Shoot. That's why the boats ain't eating important food right now. Right. Remember, remember last time uh, the black man thought of pandemic had crossed the uh came across America mm-hmm. and they went and lined up to get right. it was they was it was called Tuskegee. Yeah. <laughs> the right. Tuskegee, Tuskegee experiment. experiment. And they gave us what? Syphilis? Yeah. And, and killed so, and killed thousands. And you know, that was that was uh, you know, timid compared to what's about to happen. If you think you're gonna be cured, you think you're gonna be saved from a vaccination shot. When they can't even cure the coming cold. Hey, you know how you know how at first, right? How at first when the first when it first started, how everything was being, I guess you said, subjected or called or labeled as. Right. This person's in a hospital because of. Now all of a sudden, because everybody got the. You got all these people got. The, now all of a sudden. No one can explain why so many people is in the hospital. So now they don't even label it. They ain't even, they done took the label off the up off of it being you're sick because of because that would mean that they ain't working. Right. So now they're saying, look, it's the emergency rooms across the country are packed out and no one knows why. Right. What? You what? know exactly <laughs> why everybody is in there, but you won't. Say it. Right. That's what's happening. They, they, they jab jacking people up. But the watchmen, you know, guess what we're doing? We're watching. Hey, let's uh, bring out an article. This might not have nothing to do with the vaccination, but it does have something to do with you. Let's bring out the article, the story about my favorite little sports rebel, <laughs> Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> <Bring it out. laughs> His take a knee protests rock the NFL, and now Colin Kaepernick's causing controversy with his new Netflix series in which he compares the way the NFL scouts for players to the slave trade. Here's Les Trent. Colin Kaepernick is at the center of a new controversy over this scene from his new Netflix series, Colin in black and white. Actors playing prospective NFL players who dramatically turn into slaves headed to the auction block. Yep, the former NFL player compares the league's draft process to the slave auction block. The Stop NFL for scouting a second. Co- Stop right there. Colin, Colin is smart. Colin <laughs> know how to shake shake up Esau. <laughs> hey, hey, that dude going in, man. Right. <laughs> That's why I like Colin. <laughs> Colin said he compared the NFL to slavery, which it is. Keep in mind, hey, you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, believe it or not, you're still a slave. Matter of fact, give me that brute three and eight. Hey, hey Colin, Colin is, is pointing that thing out. Right. And it's, and it's a shame that this is causing a controversy of something that's true. Right. And you know what? You know him, what I'm saying? You know what? Him getting down on one knee. To protest uh, racism, that caused a controversy. So if that did it, you can imagine what this is going to do. But the thing is, is it was other people that was kneeling too. Exactly. Right. Exactly. But yeah, he, but he got team. the big afro. Yeah, he got the, yeah, he got the big afro. <laughs> hey, he got the big afro looking like a, uh, what you call it, a radical. <laughs> Come on now, dog. <laughs> Come no, on, no, man. He, he, ain't, he ain't your... Uh, what's the word? Coon and tight. That's right. Hey, give me that, Baruch 3 and 8. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. God said it. 
Colin didn't have to say it. God said it. We are yet this day in our captivity. <laughs> Why you keep saying his name is Colin? Colin. <laughs> Colin, but like, yeah, is, but, hey, I'm like, I'm, I'm really that? like, who in the world is he talking about? It's Colin, Colin, Colin Kaepernick. It's all the same. Hey man, that's our brother, man. Hey, hey oh, I love that brother. Oh, praise Colin. Hey, keep stirring his stuff up, man. Keep stirring. That's I wrote right. a Colin Black Panther, but you know, read. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Where thou hast scattered us. We have been scattered from one end of the earth to the other. And we are the only people that's been scattered to one end of the earth to the other. So this Bible is talking about you. That's it. Read. For a reproach uh -huh. and a curse. For a what? And a curse. So wasn't that curse for us to go into slavery? Mm. Was it not? Were we not going to have to serve our enemies? Were <laughs> we not going to be shackled and have yokes of iron upon our neck? What is Cope, uh, what is uh, Colin trying to bring out? Hey. Deuteronomy 28. <laughs> is he trying to bring out Deuteronomy 28? Hey, that man is letting everybody know what the heck y'all think y'all doing. Hey, he he and he get in his real life experience that that man went through. If you haven't seen that series, you should watch it. I think it's crazy. <laughs> Finish that verse out. Read from the top. Verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. And to be subject to payment. Be subject to what? To payment. Well, just because you're a slave don't mean you can't get paid. That's and, right. you know, just because Esau thinks he pays us a lot of money to entertain them on yeah. Sunday and Saturday, that, hey, you know, they, they can tell us what to do. They that we get, should be that happy they get in crumbs compared to, right. the, to the slave master that's over the team. They exactly. think just because crumbs. Get, they think just because the black man get millions of dollars that they shouldn't have yeah. a voice to speak up for their people. Right. They want you to be a quiet slave while you got your millions of dollars. Right. But Kaepernick ain't that type of slave. Kaepernick hey. still <laughs> gonna run his mouth and talk that junk. He need a flyer. But keep reading. <laughs> and to be subject to payments. According to all the iniquities of our fathers. For all the sins of our fathers. Read. Which departed from the Lord our God. That's why we're here. That's why we're still in captivity. We're it's going day. through all the curses. Until what? It's day. That's right. To this day. One more time. It's day. <laughs> we <laughs> still <this> slaves. <laughs> <laughs> we still slaves until this day. Hey, y'all praises on that. Hey, listen, you got to go back to the video. Yeah, go back hey, to the video. Yeah. Yeah, we got to yeah. wait. We got to hey, yeah. wait for it. Oh, yeah. That ain't it. Cap Here's the league's draft process just to the bit. slave go back auction. Bit. Go back a little bit. Go back a few seconds. Hey, they make you, hey, man, they bring you back in remembrance. Cap they gave you a good vision. Yeah, that man literally <laughs> gave you a mirror. Yeah, somebody. That man, just about. all he did was flip the mirror from, from what it looks like. NFL players who dramatically the, turned into slaves headed to the auction block. Yep, the former NFL player compares the league's draft process to the slave auction block. The NFL scouting combine happens every February. Prospects for the NFL draft attend a week of skill and endurance tests. At one stage, all players are weighed and measured wearing only shorts. Before they put you on the field, teams poke pride and examine you searching for any defect that might affect your performance stop right there. No hey man hey he been watching us man yeah he been yeah, watching yeah. oh he been watching somebody hey look yeah. ain't gonna say it's us but he been watching somebody but some I know Israelite. the only ones that's talking about this stuff is the Israelites. right that's, that's it. right that's it that's right when they everybody say, else he, cool. when he compared it to <laughs> slavery let's get it for, let's not be twisted hey they didn't buy slaves because you know they looked cute. They no. bought slaves because they needed some strong, big bucks to pick that cotton. They needed some strong, big bucks to make other big, strong, big bucks. That's, it. That's what they was doing. Go to that during 2868. That was the end of that? Oh, no, no, no he, ain't, he ain't done. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to get it right there where, <laughs> you know, they compared it to being sold on them auction blocks. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Understood. Understood. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Because he, because he gave a beautiful visual. And that visual is coming off those slave ships and getting up on them auction blocks, getting ready to be sold to pick cotton. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Or let's make it simple. Bring it into America, into slavery. Read. Again, 
with ship. That's what Colin just showed us, us getting off those slave ships. This is this is Moses speaking to the Israelites. Mm-hmm. Those black people that came off those slave ships, those are the Israelites. Man, we are God's chosen people. Right. Read. By the way, Rev, I spake unto thee, uh-huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Guess what? That boat didn't have a return trip. It was a one-way trip into slavery. And guess what? We ain't got back on that boat and returned back to our homeland since. Read. And there, right there, on hey, when he got off them slave ships, read. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. They were sold to who? Unto your enemies. I guarantee you it wasn't other Israelites sitting there waiting to buy them. It was your enemy. Right. You, read. For bondmen uh-huh. and bondwomen. Read. And no man shall buy you. Well, what else is he going to compare that to? Well, you being auctioned off and sold. Right. You got to yeah. compare it to slavery. The highest, the highest bidder. Right. Get you in the draft. Hey, go, you got to go back. Go back to the video. We got to go back. Because we got to continue to hear the... Uh, here it is, Jake, brother, what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. freaking All video. players are weighed and measured mind. wearing only shorts. Before they put you on the field, teams poke, pride, and examine you, searching for any defect that might affect your performance. No boundary respected. No dignity left intact. Look at this here. Come on, who wants this? The scene cuts back and forth between slave owners and coaches. On Fox News, a former NFL player slammed Kaepernick. A process of someone living their dream, going to the National Football League, comparing that to slavery, uh, it's it's gone over overboard. The film's co-creator, Ava DuVernay, appeared on CBS Mornings. Co-anchor Nate Burleson, a former NFL player, weighed in. I remember going to pro days in the combine, Mm. sitting there with my shirt off and shorts Mm -hmm. and them you know seeing how big my hands were and Mm -hmm. how happy I was once I got on the scale Mm -hmm. the difference is slavery was free labor Mm -hmm. now these young men and women who come from circumstances that might be harsh have a chance to reset financially hey 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 hey. so so we just heard the two the two coon brothers shame there it is we just heard them you know what I'm saying we just heard what they said so they said that this is not anything compared to slavery because they get paid in right. some way form or fashion also oh, because you come from the hood and then you come out of the hood because you making millions or x amount of dollars or whatnot that this is different it's no different you're getting crumbs off the table it that's all you're getting and we're going to show you in the bible that this is act what he's talking about is biblical that this ain't the first time our people got caught up in this mess. This ain't you. the first time. Go ahead, Oz. What you got? And, and it's not their money. He talking about <laughs> you getting paid. Right. Who's paying you? Right. And, and if and if you say something, they could take it from you. Exactly. So who, who who you getting paid by? So look, you getting paid to run up and down the field and shut the heck up. <laughs> right. But don't do that. I'm gonna take your money, freeze your accounts. But remember, you got paid and you think it's yours. Hey, let's go to the second match. Because listen, <laughs> they're not paying you just for your performance. Right. Is that- they're paying for uh, paying for you to conform to what they want. Right. And that is you to shut up and play ball. Watch they this. don't want you to stand up for your people. Watch this. Read this thing in Second Maccabees 4 and and go oh, 10. We'll read it. Uh let's see, let's see, let's see. No, nine. Start at nine. No, ain't gonna, we're going to read the whole thing. I just want to get a particular point out of it. Second Maccabees chapter 4, verse 9. Bring it out. Beside this, he promised to assign 150 more uh-huh. if he might have license to set him up a place for exercise. So this is our own brother who did this to our people, who agreed to the fashions of the Greeks, Jason. This we he actually is the one who said he would agree to have our people do these different things to set up places of exercise for the best of athletes. Read on. And for the training up of the youth. And for the training up of the youth. Shoot, when you watch the series, it even shows how Cap- how Colin went from from youth all the way up to college. They start that stuff early and look and then he was raised by an edomite family who didn't understand nothing what he was going through read on training up of the youth in the fashions of the heathen and that and that's what in the in the in two in the two brothers or whatever they don't even understand it they sitting there dumbfounded 
but uh, of the fact that they've been doing heathenish practices the whole time. Read on. And to write them of Jerusalem by the name of Antiochus. Now jump down. We're going to jump straight down. Jump all the way down to 12. Hey, don't, don't let the Antiochus just slide by. Just the same way that they got <laughs> their name changed to Antiochus. Exactly. They changed yeah. the Israelites' its name to Americans. There you exactly. go. There, there, you go. there you go. We took on different names then. We taking on them different names now. Read verse 12, though, because you got to get to this, to what happens. Even today, after they done examined you and everything else at the combine, then they draft you. Let's see what happens. Verse 12. For he built gladly a place of exercise under the tower itself. Read on. And brought the chief young men. The best of the athletes. Under his subjection. Uh-huh. And made them wear a hat. The problem is these dumb dudes don't even understand why you need a hat in football. Right. Why they give you a hat in <laughs> basketball. Y'all don't wear Baseball. hats to do the job that, that, that you claim that they're hiring you to do or that they're paying you to do, but you can't even see it, so you got two brothers. You know what? Hey, hey, you know, hey, this is nonsense. This doesn't compare. Y'all the same. What? Same exact thing. They are doing the same exact thing. And what does it call these things? Uh, we'll just jump on. Matter of fact. He said, made them wear a hat. Yeah. Ain't the day they get drafted, they walk yeah, out and they, they shake they the give, hand. They, give, they, <laughs> they shake the commissioner hand. hand. Give them a and they put on, take a picture, dummies. Got two darn brothers sitting up there, and this dude is telling the truth. And look, they didn't put the Edomites up there to speak against them. They said it's a controversy between what Colin brought out and, and other people. And then two coons allowed themselves to be used by the Edomites. Right. Stop it. By the enemy, the same help. ones that sold us on the slave ship, they say, you know what we're going to do? We're going to get two of your own people to stand up against you. And paid him to do it. Yeah, paid him to do it. Just like old Jason. <laughs> Man, unbelievable. Go ahead. I got another script. Code. We got where's this script at that talks about uh they, they want us to sing a song. It's in song. Yeah. They sort of us a song. Oh, you might want to jump down to verse fifteen before you get 15? there. Fifteen? Well let's read that too. Let's read that. All right, verse fifteen. Not setting by the honors of their fathers, uh -huh. but liking the glory of the Grecians. Best of all. And that's what they did. That's why they pay you the millions. It's because they want you to hate your your forefathers' ways and not even wake up to them and uh, just, just push all of your own people aside. Instead, you want to be just like them. And that's what happened to these two brothers that's going up against Colin. They didn't go through the persecution that he did, so they like, shoot, it wasn't me. They probably was the same ones who was sitting up there talking about he never should have got on his knee in the first place. Mind you, Edomites on their knees acting like they're doing the darn crucif crucifix or whatever the thing is on their darn folk, on they chest. Nobody said nothing. Exactly. Nobody <laughs> said nothing. But then as soon as this man said, you know what? I'm going to take a knee. He didn't beat nobody up, no nothing. Matter of fact, go to Daniel 3. I think that's Daniel 3. There's one, no, you want uh, Psalms 137. You got it? Let's read that. Yes, read, sir. Let's read that. Read Psalm it. chapter 137, verse 3. Read it out. For there, they that carried us away captive required of us a song. Same thing. Entertainment. Right. They required of us entertainment. That's all we are to them. That's it. That's why you get paid. Entertainment, cheap labor. That's it. So he's sitting up and saying, oh, it's, it's not the fact that. It's not the same because you get paid. Man, you are an entertainer. You better shut your black. You ain't no mouth. leader to nobody. You an entertainer. Right. Read that thing from and the top. You, of and you know the sad part is our people look for these entertainers to be our leaders. Right. That's that's who our people look. We don't look up to you. Right. We don't look at look, that's where you get the people that, that get money, they go and be actors and actresses, and then they feel like they are entitled that we should look at look at look, they've been pushed by the, the enemy. To be the leaders of our people, but then once the, once they find out that's not who the Bible right. says our leaders are, now it's oh well y'all need to treat me like a leader because Bruh. the white man made me that way. Right, you know our people need to wake up. You listen, these comedians, these rappers, these actors—they are not leaders. They're just people that got good paying jobs. <laughs> they're it. not leaders of your people. They're not getting ready to risk their life for you. They're not getting ready to risk their income for you. They're gonna keep their mouth shut and they're gonna go alone to get along. That's it. Read, read that. Uh, read that verse all the way out, also. Verse three. For there, they that carried us away captive required of us a song. I was. Our slave masters require us to entertain them. Read on. 
And they that wasted us required of us mirth. Read. Sing. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. But let's see what our forefathers felt. Read the very next verse. Verse 4. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? We sitting up here like, look right here. It's like, well, how are we going to? How we going to sing, man, and be happy right. in our enemy's land? But we got the Coon uh, brothers like, well, why don't our people just be happy in our enemy's uh, land? You know, <laughs> bro, I know. Like, it's crazy. Bro. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> right here it says, sing us one of the songs of Zion. Here in America, they say, sing us one of those old Negro spirituals. Yeah, <laughs> or or run the football up and down the field for me. Right. And and do so and do it happily. And, we're, and this right here, they're asking, how can I be happy with mirth? in my captivity under you when you treat me this way. But our people today don't see it that way. They are like, it's all good. It's all good. Let's yeah, go to, yeah. um, Daniel, you got some else? Yeah, it's go a ahead. dream. It's a dream. Remember he said it's a dream. You dreamed of this all That's your right. life. He did. And you did. made it into the NFL. <sighs> uh, look, our people dream of being athletes, which don't do nothing for the community versus nope. doctors versus uh, 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 teachers. Teachers. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to be doctors, dentists, and all that kind of stuff, or or scientists. We want to, you know what? We want to be the one percent that make it pro in sports. Right. So that would mean that everybody else that don't make it, what you gonna do now? What you gonna? We don't even have plans. That's why when we don't make it in sports, all of a sudden our people end up in the worst conditions. But this is what Kaepernick did, though. I, I want to read this. Daniel three and ten. It's the same thing that happened. Same thing that happened. Never could never tried to force this thing on. Oh shoot! Hey man, we gotta take a break. Yeah, we we'll get. It. Yeah, let's go ahead and take us a two minute break, and we'll be right back with you. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Welcome back to Wartime Radio. This is Officer Yuanathan. On my left, Officer Nehemiah. And on my right, Officer Eitan. Our praises. Hey, Officer, you wanted to uh, bring out that verse to finish up the story on yeah, Kaepernick. Yeah. yeah, so the the issue that Kaepernick, when he took his knee, you know what I mean? He did it for racial inequality, but this ain't the first time that our enemies required of us to worship something, and then if we went against it, they would throw us in. But we had four fathers that did it too. But let's go to Daniel 3 and 10. Daniel chapter 3, verse 10. Bring it out. Thou, O king, has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet. So this right is talking about King Nebuchadnezzar. He made a law that every time you heard this, this, this music, read on. The sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut. Psaltery and dulcimer and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And that right there is the equivalent of the Star Spangled Banner before a football game, a basketball game, a baseball game. But let's see what the stipulation was back then. Read verse 11. Verse 11. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. And they're going to be put to death. And that's the same thing they did to Colin Kaepernick. Right. They Look, people are like, oh, well, he's still walking and breathing. You took his livelihood, though. Right. You character assassinated him. Right. That's exactly what you did. No, shoot, you took his money, then you character assassinated him, so wouldn't nobody else pick him up. Blackballed him when you got the scrub, whatever, Still in there that, that that don't even compare to how good that man was, but you won't give him a chance because he did not follow right. and worship your idol. Right. They blackballed Same. him and killed his career because yeah. of one simple thing. Because he took give, a knee. Give me Galatians 4 and 16. It ain't the fact that he took a knee. It's the fact that he actually spoke up against the machine. There you go. He didn't kowtow. He didn't bend over. He didn't coon. But he stood up like own, a man. His own people sitting up there tripping. Right. 
Unbelievable. Read that. Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Read it out. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Read it again. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? That's what that's what uh, Colin's saying right there. Am I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Because I spoke on injustice to the black community? Because I said the NFL is like a slave plantation selling off men to the highest bidder? <laughs> hated for speaking the truth. He's right. hated for speaking the truth. If he's hated for speaking the truth on what's going on in society, imagine how... The true watchmen of God are hated amongst you Ooh. for telling you about the sins that you're in, about the things that you're doing wrong against God, about how you're serving your oppressor and not the most high God. Unbelievable. You got to check your spirit. Hey, let's go to the next story. Because in Atlanta and Houston, there's a new trend going on. Dang. And it's hey, always it's Atlanta and look, Houston. It, look, it was already bad. And it's finna, it's finna right. take this show finna take a whole Houston. another turn. <laughs> Houston. <laughs> take a whole another turn. Well, welcome Houston, to the table. we have a problem. Yeah, Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> we already knew about Atlanta's problem. <laughs> but Houston, we got a problem. Oh, shoot. Cap, I know you out there. What you gonna yeah. do? Hey, man. <laughs> hey, this is Come nuts. Come on now, dog. <laughs> this Come is absolutely on, nuts. It, hey. read, read, man, read that real quick. Uh, also, really quick. It's new, quick. new trend in Houston and Atlanta. Female studs getting James Harden beards. If you didn't Watch. know, a female stud is a female that's a homosexual that pretended to be a man. We called them back Bruh. in the day bull dykes. Like, right. Sodomites, man. Like it said. And look, and there's a video that show how these mugs is putting on the bird. Man. Hey, and I don't care. She still look like a feminine man with a beard. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that. Lips just as glossy and shining. <laughs> what the heck is going on? What the That's heck is going on? Going on? What? Oh, <laughs> man. Come on. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, that is straight badness. Right. Right, man. Hey, <laughs> give, me, give me wisdom of Solomon 14. We're going to start at verse 22. Because oh, like shoot. I said, there's nothing new under the sun. Believe it or not, they was doing this way before Christ. Oh, man. Our that people. That is crazy. Like I say, God said he, he made us bad in everything that's in righteousness and in wickedness. We outseed the wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is nuts. Verse 16. Uh, 14, we're going to start at verse 22. Yes, sir. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 22. Bring it out. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. Right, because right now the Bible tells you in Hosea that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So not only do we not know God and we don't know Christ, listen to this, read it again. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. Uh -huh. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance. We in a great war of ignorance. Read. Those so great plagues call they peace. So all the curses that uh, happened to our people, they don't even look at it as something that came from God. They just think, you know, that's just life. Yeah, shoot, they, shoot, our own people tell us to forget. It was so long. Why we got to keep bringing right. it up? Oh, God. Read. Jump down to verse 24. Verse 24. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Because now women marry women and men marry men. Read. But either one slew another traitorously uh -huh. or grieved him by adultery. Those are the things that's going on in our community. Read. So that there reign in all men without exception uh -huh. blood, manslaughter, theft, and dissimulation, uh -huh. corruption, unfaithfulness, tumults, Perjury. Just straight wickedness. Read. Disquieting of good men. Uh-huh. Forgetfulness of good turns. Read. Defiling of souls. What? Defiling of souls. Here, here it come. Read. Changing of kind. Transgender. You ain't think that was in the Bible. Mm, they didn't think that was in the no, Bible. Because they don't read. That's it. Not only is it in the Bible back then, as you see, a Women are trying to become men. Men trying to become women. You have Nas X trying to have a baby. Yeah, that's, that's madness. You, you look, you get that one week. Then the next week, you get the women trying to put birds on. What the hell is this? Hey, finish out that verse. 
changing of kind, disorder in marriages, uh-huh. adultery, mm-hmm. and shameless uncleanness. And what? And shameless uncleanness. This is just straight shameless uncleanness. This is a pure shame <laughs> what's going on in our community. <laughs> Back in the day, it, 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 you know what? I wish you would have kept it in the closet. I wish you'd have kept it in the closet. Yeah, because at one point you couldn't come out like that. You right. get hands. The mother, right. mother trying to beat your tail. Right. Now all of a sudden it's 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 just all over the place. Mm-hmm. It's so accepted. That is, that is mad. That is. Put the picture back up there. That is crazy. Look at this. Yeah, look. They drew the beard, put whatever sticky stuff, and then put an afro on it. I'm like, what the hell? What? <laughs> look at this, baby. Right. Shiny lips. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. You can tell it all. You hey, hey that is bad. Sisters, as repent. As Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, oh. Get some help. <laughs> Keep up yo, this, the, the, hey, cause you can't make this up. I was like, yo, they putting oh, beards man. on people now? And this is what they're pushing on our youth. They're out there teaching our children. We was just at a gay parade. What? A few weeks ago, and they was out there teaching the children. Yeah, out there in the streets. Yeah, had a, a lot, a, a ton of Jake out there. His look, it thing crazy thing is, it was a, it was just as much Northern Kingdom as it was Southern Kingdom. Right, you said Spanish, y'all it all was into it. Crazy. Hey, go to Romans one and thirty two, because I was already read about these. Matter, yeah, thirty, yeah, read verse thirty two. Because a lot of our people won't even speak up against this when they see it. You got, and, and, and then they think that they're going to be all right. When you, oh, well, it ain't me, so I'm okay with it. That's not what the Bible say. Read that. Romans chapter 1, verse 32. Read it out. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. So when you knowing the judgments of God and you know these things are wrong, all you Christian folk out there. That know that when you see women trying to be men and they're able to come in your church or the men trying to be women, they in your choirs singing and rocking back and forth and crap, leading services and stuff. And you don't say nothing when you know it's wrong. Read on. Worthy of death, not only do the same, uh-huh. but have pleasure in them that do them. So you are just as guilty because you are actually, you know what, I'm okay with it. I'm right. okay with it, ain't no problem. You know, so that's that you if if you are OK with it and don't correct them, you're just as guilty as they are. That's in the midst of doing the acts. They, they don't really understand how much uh, the wicked is waging war on us, pushing this homosexuality spirit on our people and our people are consenting to these things. We have to take a stand for our children's sake, for our sakes. Woo! Give me Psalms uh, 38 verse 12. Because we don't understand that these are traps that they're trying to pull our people into. They're trying to get us to accept everything that's wicked. And if you if you don't accept the things that's wicked, you know, they're trying to shame you. You know what I'm saying? They, that's the hey, things the, they're the, doing. The, the, the truth to, now is the new hate. Right. Truth is the new hate. Because you tell the truth, you showing hate. Right. What? That's, and that's what they do. You know, if you speak the truth, you tell the truth about something, they want to fire you from your jobs, ostracize you in your community. These are the things they're trying to do against those that stand for righteousness. Read. Psalm chapter 38, verse 12. Read it out. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me. Because these are traps because they seek to destroy you. Mm-hmm. They are not trying to give up power. The wicked wants to stay in the rulership of this earth. So they set snares and traps for you. One of the traps that set for you is simple. Sunday worship, holidays, you know, homosexuality. All these things are traps for our people. Read. And they that seek my hurt speak mischievously things. Right. They're going to speak evil. Guess what they're going to speak evil against? The righteous, the Israelites. They're going to speak evil of us and say we're a hate group, that we're speaking hatred, that we don't have the spirit. Mm -hmm. Those that keep the laws and faith in Christ, they're going to actually say that we don't have the spirit because we choose to do what the Bible says. That's right. That we ain't going to walk in wickedness. We ain't going to walk in sin. We're That's actually right. going to keep the law, statute, commandments. Right. They're going to speak mischievous things. Read. And imagine deceits all day long. Why, if 
IUIC is not the most hated group on earth. I don't know who is. <laughs> I don't uh, know who is. Everybody making video about us. Everybody got their name in their mouth. Because why? Because we keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Because we are out here watching for our people's uh, soul. <laughs> we are trying to be to rebuild the decayed uh, state of our people. That's what we're doing. That's right. Hey, get um. You done with that? Go ahead. I'm good. Hey, you got some else in your mic? Yeah, okay, I do. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, um, just like Officer saying, was saying about that, you know, they got us doing all manner of stuff. They was doing the same things in the day of Noah. Go to Matthew, uh, thirty-seven. I mean, twenty-four, thirty-seven. Ain't nothing, ain't ain't nothing new under the sun. What Officer brought out is on point with what's going on in society today. Be it the the jab or whatever it is, with this lady putting on a beard or in, in Houston and Texas. Read that. Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. Bring it out. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So that's telling you we're living in the last days. Read. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriages until the day that Noah entered into the ark. So look at the craziness that's going on now. That's what officer brought out. They were eating, drinking, being married. Look at them NFL players. They Sound like the club buy, on Saturday yeah. night. Right. Yeah, that's it. Buying there you clothes, go. <laughs> cars, and then jumping on our brother for bringing out the truth. Read. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So all of a sudden, yeah, we having, they're having fun doing all these crazy things. And, and you know, homosexuality causing our men to be uh, like women and women to be like men. That's the same thing that was going on in the time of Noah. It's just repeating itself. Right. Yeah, and when that thing, like like it's saying, when it says marrying and giving to marriage, it ain't talking about lawfully. Right. This is talking about what people do Friday night and do and, and on, on the Sabbath and you wake up, you didn't get smashed, now you're getting kicked out the house. Right. It's talking sent about. Home. Right. Right. And then going into those gay marriages. Right. Talking about and, all that gay, look, look, sodomite marriages and, and. Uh, uh, fornication, adultery, all that, that's what that's talking about they was doing. It ain't talking about they was doing nothing righteous. Right. And then, you know, that part right there was said, and knew not until the flood came. Right. They didn't know what was going on until death was at the door. Yeah, uh-huh. like our people today. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, you got Israelites on every corner, every city. Out that's there teaching. right. We're, hey, 365 we're not, days right. a year. Hey, IUS is not the only group eight. out there teaching. There's other Israelite camps, bless their soul. They out there putting that work too to warn our people. Right. And our people clueless. Have you ever heard Jews and Israelite? That's what I'm saying. Because it ain't just us. It's it's other camps that's doing it too. Right. So it, so look, you got us for 364 days, but you got the other camps. However many days they going out and doing it. Or online teaching it and stuff like that. And y'all sitting up here acting like it's just, and our people have no clue what's happening. Right. Not none. You ever heard you? It was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't never heard that. You know, uh, all them videos are coming up downtown line. Nah, I, ain't, I ain't never watched that. <laughs> look, look they, they even put it in the papers that we are a hate group. Right. It's well, in the newspaper. You, hey, have you heard within the last days? I don't know about that. You know, I think we, I think we got, I think we got probably about another million years or so. Oh, Come the world, on, the world ain't about to end. We're gonna get past this. You know, we're gonna get past this pandemic, and COVID is gonna go away. Mouth. And we're going to go back to normal. No, you ain't. Black you ain't people, back we're not getting back. It's not getting any better. <laughs> they got masks on your face now. It's not getting any better. <laughs> it's over. It's done. Look, America's finished. They got masks on your face. And look, you don't get fully, you don't win get the jab and considered fully vaccinated. Look, look I'm going to tell you something. When you go in and go take portraits with a mask on your face. I don't know if I can say that word. Something is wrong word. with you. What was that? The vaccinated, I don't know. Look, think about it right now. Okay. <laughs> You got people doing selfies with masks on their face. Nobody knows who you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody knows who you That's, are. Sitting there talking about some. Sitting there talking about some. <laughs> they got masks covering their goddamn face. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> right, speaking of the. Hey, pull up the story that we got on that. Yeah, real I'll quick. Pull up old Candace. I like Candace. I'm sorry, I can say something right quick. Yeah, go ahead. Now, I was about to say with the mask, even if you get. Some places say on the sign, even if you have, you still need to wear a mask. Right. So, so, that, so that would mean that.
don't work. Right. Hey, I'm going to tell you how you know the don't work. When you got country say, if you got that, don't come in our country. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that Israel saying that? Don't come here if you got mm, They don't want you. Dang. But hey, let's pull up old Candace, my favorite Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Read that what you got on there. All right. Dystopian nightmare. Candace Owens rages against New York child campaign. Hey, and you know, I might be a little slow. I don't even know what dystopian means, but we're gonna keep on. Hey, you got the uh you got the disclaimer? Well, do we need to do the disclaimer on the article? Okay, I guess we good. Okay, okay. keep reading. Conservative pundit and talk show host Kenneth Owens said New York Mayor Bill de Blasio's plan to give children $100 for was skin to brainwashing them. Was it kin? Akin to, to brainwashing them. Well, students. look at that. Who said Republicans ain't nice? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Look. All. Hey, listen. Listen. Look. Look. You need security. You need security from your own people now because, you know, most of the <laughs> I'm just giving you $100. And I'm sure your little black children will line up all over New York to get that $100 $100, bill. $100, man. So look, they, look, look, what he, look what he said. Read the next one. Owens was asked by Fox News about Mayor de Blasio's uh-huh. announcement that children between 5 and 11 years old. Children 5 and 11 getting ready to come up. Read. Could receive one hundred dollars uh-huh. from the city if they get. Read the next part. It buys a whole lot of candy. Unbelievable! Oh, uh, <laughs> I got some candy. Didn't hit the store. Oh, hey. candy for the kids, y'all. Candy, it's candy for the kids. Hey, right? You tell me, is ain't something behind? Hey man, yeah. hey look, they don't need you don't pay they don't pay nobody to take no damn medicine. But all right. of a sudden, this right here, they go pay you to do this with something bad. <laughs> so all the people. Hey, that is that is absolutely <laughs> Hey, that's absolutely crazy, man. And you hey, matter of fact, matter of fact, wasn't it something in another state where if you was eleven years old, you didn't even need the consent of your parent? You could actually do you could actually elect to take without your parents' consent at 11. Right. So you got this going on. So if them 11-year-olds, I don't know if it was, I don't think it was in New York. I'm not sure. But, yeah, in a, in, in a state where the 11-year-olds could say, I want to take the jab, and their parents didn't even have to know or nor could stop them, they could take it right there at school. I'm going to tell you, that $100 bill, that's aimed at you little blacks and Hispanics. That's sure. it. Because yep. they know what you're going to do with it. They know that that money they give out is coming right back to them. They know you finna run and get them the latest pair of Jordans because your baby daddy didn't pay that child support. They know you coming to get it. Man, give me uh, Psalms uh, 37 verse 32. Can you imagine how many mothers finna push their kids to go and take Hey, bring me back my $400. She got Bruh. four kids. She need her $400. Right. You know, women got to get their hair done, their nails done. <laughs> Look, little baby, all you going to get is some candy. It's all you're going to get, about 10 cent worth. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's crazy. That is crazy. What you got? Psalms uh, 37, verse 32. Oh, praise God. Psalms chapter 37, verse 32. Bring it up. The wicked watcheth the righteous. Said, hey, hey, them blessed Spanish, they ain't lined up to get this like they're supposed to. Give them $100. <laughs> Read. And seeketh to slay him. What did they do? And seeketh to slay him. They're going to slay you, and you're going to fall for it. Hey, you gonna fall for it. You know why you gonna fall for it? Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Bring it out. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Bring it out. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Hey, oppression make a wise man mad. Guess what? The Israelites, you know what? We pissed off. But you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you good. You good. You're gonna line up to go get your children. Like you don't care what's going on in this earth. You that's still good. sleep. You ain't paying attention. You ain't wise. Hey, crazy. Matter of fact, God said you're simple. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Read. And a gift. $100. 
destroyeth the heart. You're going to be is. done. Hey, hey, look, I, got, I got one for y'all. Go to uh, <laughs> Sirach 20 and 29. Bring it out. <laughs> How they going to say it? How they going to say it, Osiana? It going to give me my $400. <laughs> <laughs> give me my $400. Hey, you know, some, you got of them, some of them got about five, <laughs> six kids, but that's a come up right there. <laughs> Bruh. Rick got to get paid. <laughs> Read that. <laughs> so, Sarat chapter 20, verse 29. Presents and gifts. He said, Presents and gifts. I'm going to give you $100 and I'm going to give you a whole bunch of candy. Right. Mm. Read. <laughs> Blind the eyes of the wise. So, that's that, that shield they putting over your face. Right. Or that that uh, uh, blinder they putting over your face. Read. And stop up his mouth that he cannot <laughs> reprove. <laughs> what are he putting in their mouth? Candy. Candy. <laughs> Candy. <laughs> Candy. <laughs> that's the guy you in the spirit, though. Hey, hey, hey. hey that's oh, crazy. All white people ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, bring me my $100. My $100. Hey, y'all silly, man. Hey, y'all are silly. Hey, Unbelievable. That's you got something spirit. to bring up? Yeah, 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 man. Um, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, let's go to Daniel 9, man. Daniel 9. Daniel 9. Because what's happening, man, is is the nations are coming up against us, and they are speaking great evil against the Most High, man. That's why they're saying and pushing these different things. Uh, that's just what they want to do. They, they want to make these things happen. Go to 25. Daniel chapter 9, verse 25. Bring it out. 7 and 25. <laughs> My bad. Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. Bring it out. And he shall speak great words against the Most and High. And that's exactly what our enemy is doing, speaking great words against the Most High and pushing these different agendas on us. Read on. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. They are still doing so to this day. Read on. And think to change times and laws. That's why they are making these mandates and things like that to come after us, to actually destroy our people. Read on. And they shall be given into his hand uh -huh. until a time and times and the dividing of time. But read verse 26. But the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion uh -huh. to consume and to destroy it unto the end. And that's what's going to happen. This dominion is going to fall. This that's place right. is going to fall. Matter of fact, I think, what was it, Matthews that we were talking about? Look at that in Matthew's about, hey, they divided because now you got oh, Esau God, versus God. Esau. You know what I'm saying? Matthews. Esau versus Esau right now. Matthew's. Uh, 12 and 25? Yep, 12 and 25, yeah. or Mark 3 and 25. No, I want 12 25. 12 25. Yeah, now they're going against each other. So that dominion, hey, this place is falling. Understand that. <laughs> so called Black Spanish Native American. Which side you going to be on? Read that. Matthews chapter 12, verse 25. Bring it out. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And that's exactly what's happening. You got Esau going against Esau. Because they ain't, look, we ain't the only ones getting persecuted. Look, now, 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 e, look, we getting persecuted more than everybody else, but now Esau dropping dead right. from taking this darn thing. And that's why all of a sudden it's a bunch of uproars and a bunch of protests all over the world right now because they are divided. So what does the Bible say going to happen to them? Every Canaan divided against itself is brought to desolation. Read on. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. That's what's happening. Babylon is falling. It is going down. So, hey, you so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans need to repent, man. Hey, this truth going to look more like you said. It's going to look better and better and better the more this thing go right. on. <laughs> hey, this has been Wartime Radio. Hey, this is Officer Yuanathan on my left. Officer Nehemiah. Officer on Eight right. Time. Officer Eight Time. And our reader. Officer Yana. Hey, this has been WPJM 800. This is the hottest show in South Carolina. We say shalom. 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 It's like crazy blessed. Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. Follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina.
For more information, call us at 803-708-4861 at extension 237. Share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.